Well, we've made it another year, everyone. Today's the last day of the decade, in fact. Probably a lot of people talking about all the tech throughout the decade, or maybe not. I don't want to talk about the whole decade. That's too much to cover. And boy, it just feels like yesterday that I was 11 years old. Wow, these 10 years have flown by. I'm really excited for the next 10 years, probably because it'll be our last. But I think it's very easy to forget about all of the changes we've seen from Apple in the past year. And a lot of things that may seem like they've been the norm for a long time weren't a reality just 12 months ago. So today's video, I'll be looking back and pointing out all the things that a lot of you may take for granted as you kill time until midnight. Because this year sucked, let's get it over with. And also, say goodbye to these intros and outros. We got new ones coming up for you next year, next decade, which is not not too far away, just tomorrow. So if you enjoyed these intros and these outros for a long time, please enjoy this one for the very last time before we update them, but they're much better now. So anyway, last time with the blinding intro, go! It's crazy to think this, but just one year ago, Apple did not have any AirPods that supported wireless charging. Yeah, it's easy to miss, but the AirPods 2 with the H1 chip and everything, the better battery efficiency, and of course the more recently announced AirPods Pro, both of which happened this year. Which means that, yeah, just 12 months ago, Lightning was the exclusive only way to charge them, there was no engraving options, all the indicator lights were on the inside, and yes, that also meant that there was no noise cancellation just a year ago. There was only one size, fits all. There was no rubber tips. There was no $200 plus option. AirPods were just stuck at 160 and we used to think that was a lot. We used to think that was expensive, but Apple changed that this year with AirPods 2 and AirPods Pro, making whole new waves of broke people by making us all think that $160 AirPods were actually the cheap version. Just one year ago, this is very hard to forget. You could not pick an iPhone with the best battery life and the best display. You had to pick one or the other, whether you wanted the best battery life? Well, you gotta go with the 10R, and that comes with its own set of compromises. Or you wanted the best display? You had to choose the 10S Max, which objectively did not have the best battery life. It was okay, but definitely struggled to get through the day for a lot of people. Not a problem anymore. We can now have the best battery life and the best display in one single package, which is kind of neat. Let's hope it stays that way. One year ago, the iPad mini was off in a distant land of barely being supported. It only had an A8 chip, and they hadn't touched it in years. A lot of people figured the iPad mini was going to be discontinued any day, but Apple sure proved us wrong this year, and they ended up upgrading it, and maybe it will continue to become a pivotal part of the iPad lineup. Not to mention that last iPad mini that was the only one a year ago, no Apple Pencil support, and was barely chugging along running iOS 12. Just one year ago, there was actually no dark mode. Yeah! That one's easy to forget. Just 12 months ago, we had to blind ourselves every time we looked at our phone, especially at nighttime, and there was no way around it. We were all just desperately craving dark mode, and some of you jailbreakers were doing it anyway, but there was also a huge, intrusive, obnoxious volume indicator that had not changed in years. Pretty much a decade, volume indicator had been exactly the same. It wasn't until this year that Apple finally fixed that. Thank you. And now it's also my favorite volume indicator across any mobile OS. In just one year ago, you could not change the resolution and frame rate from within the camera app. Which I know, if you don't have the latest iPhone, you still can't do that. That sucks, but who knows, maybe I'll come revisit that, uh, this video next year. Just one year ago, the cheese grater Mac Pro was an ancient myth that Apple had stopped selling, and they were still selling that trash can Mac Pro as the only one available, and boy, the specs were bad, but all that time ago, that was pretty much all you could get. It was amazing that they were still selling it. No Thunderbolt 3, no USB-C for the majority of 2019. Yeah, they were just charging away at those things. God, I feel bad if anyone actually bought them. Please tell me none of you bought a trash can Mac Pro in 2019. God, I hope not. Anyway, just one year ago, we thought the iPod lineup was about to die. iPod Touch had barely been touched in a long time, so we just figured 2019 would be the year that Apple killed off the iPod. But nay, they decided to demolish all of our expectations and miraculously drop the 2019 iPod Touch with an A10 chip. Significantly down throttled, of course, and with barely any other changes apart from that, although it did support Raise to Wake which was surprising a lot of people. I think it was the only iPod to ever support that. And now we are once again going into 2020 thinking this is the year the iPod will die. And who knows, maybe Apple will uh, tell us 
we're wrong again and release a new iPod Touch. Oh God. Just one year ago, iPads had no way of connecting with thumb drives. You could not connect external drives with any of the iPads and there was no mouse support as a lot of people like to showcase that accessibility feature for about two seconds and then they go back to using it as a touch interface. Just a year ago, we didn't have that option to pretend like we're actually going to use a mouse with our iPad. But yeah, back then there was no way to do it. You just had to touch everything. This is also a crazy one because it's been around for so long and we've all grown accustomed to it. But just one year ago, Apple did not have a new subscription service, a credit card, a gaming subscription service, or a TV streaming service. Just a year ago, all of that stuff was all but leaks. There was no Apple credit card, there was no News Plus, no Apple Arcade, or TV Plus, and Dickinson was all but just numbers on someone's hard drive where they inevitably were editing the show at the time. Just a year ago, none of those services existed. All of that came out in 2019. And this was another crazy one to think about. Just a year ago, you could be running the latest version of macOS and still run 32-bit apps. Not anymore. No, you got, I mean, unless you go through terminal, but yeah, no, you can't do that anymore. Thanks. Mac OS Catalina. This has been a train wreck for me. I hate it. Mojave though, that was pretty good. You know, 32-bit apps, 64-bit apps, frolicking in the grass, all having a good time together. Yeah. Those were the days. Now everything doesn't work. And also, just one year ago, the Apple Watch Series 4 was the best smartwatch you could buy at the time. And you know what? That hasn't changed. It's the end of 2019. Series 4, still the best. I don't care about the Series 5. It's exactly the same. They just turn on always on display, which you gotta pay extra for. If you go on Amazon, I promise you can find a Series 4 for cheaper. Find some end of the year deal thing or whatever, or buy certified refurbished somewhere. Don't waste your money on the Series 5, okay? Just get a four. It saves you so much money. And last, but certainly not least, just one year ago today, we thought both Air Power and the Bixby speaker was gonna come out in the next year. Wow. Boy, were we wrong about that. Apple canceled that product line and Bixby speaker is still yet to come out, at least at the time I'm recording this, which is December 11th. But you're all seeing it 20 days from now, so I assume Samsung didn't drop the Bixby speaker. If they did, ugh. I'm just gonna leave this part in. This aged horribly, didn't it? Anyway, what were some of your favorite parts of tech in 2019? I know I focused mostly on Apple, but that's because, look at me. Look at this background. Look how pathetic this man is right now. I'm the Apple sheep, so that's what I'm gonna highlight. Bash Samsung when I can, but you're welcome to highlight anything else you wanted to talk about this year, obviously. There's plenty of other things that were really cool, but feel free to hit me up over on Twitter or join my Discord, except I won't be responding to you there because I am celebrating the end of the decade. Stay safe safe out there. Remember, when you're firing off the firecrackers, keep them very, very close to your ear so that you can hear the fuse lighting. If you can't hear the fuse lighting, it might not go off and it could be a huge waste of time. So remember kids, fireworks, really close to the ears. Gotta get all those jokes out of the way before Kappa goes into effect. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you guys next decade. Don't get to say that too often. Okay, last time with this outro, boom.